All right, before I do this one on number five, I want you to try to create your own table, set up your own table to divide this using the reverse tabular method. So press pause now. Okay, now that you try it yourself, uh, I hope you notice what this bubble is saying right here. If you take the x squared plus 1, which is this guy, <coughs> and add the 0, the missing term, it becomes easier to, uh, to determine the, the, the quotient. So, if you see that, then you actually might have created your table differently. So, remember... This guy is the, is the answer to the multiplication problem. And if you created a table, the answer to the multiplication problem goes out here, outside the table. So for this division problem, we're going to write this guy on the right side. We're going to have x squared, and then 0x, and then plus 1. And that tells me how many rows we have in our table. After that, I'm going to put our answer, the polynomial answer, on the outside, like I said before. Make sure there's no missing terms. And right now, I don't see there's any missing terms because I see an x to the 4, then an x to the 3, x to the 2, x to the 1, and then no x. And so it decreases. We're good. I don't think we have any missing terms. And so I'm going to write out uh, x squared. I'm sorry, not squared. x to the 4th. And then we have the sets for that guy. And this guy right here, that's going to be uh, 4x to the 3rd. And then this corner. We're going to put 3x squared. And then um, I count how many I have left. It looks like I have one, two terms left. That means I only need two more arrows. So I'm going to divide this area up. I'll put an arrow there and an arrow there. And for each arrow, we're going to make a column, a line. And so then I put 4x and then 2. All right, now the two easiest squares to fill in are these ones. We have x to the fourth and then 2. Now, in order to solve this, what we need is all of these missing squares. And as we fill in these missing squares, what we're going to do is we're going to find the terms that go right here, and that's, that's our answer. Those are, that's going to be our answer. So let's just look at this first one. I normally like to start from the top left, and I work my way over. I go down, then I go back up, then I work my way down, then I go back up, and then I finally get to the 2, and I'll be done. So first, what times x squared will give me x to the fourth? What times x squared will give me x to the fourth? That would be x squared. So once I have this term right here, I can use this term and multiply it to these to find these missing terms right there. So that's why I said I was going down. This is how I'm going down now. So x squared times 0x is going to be 0x to the third, which, you know, it's just 0. It goes away. And then the next one's going to be x squared times 1. It's just going to be 1x squared. And now I and, and need to do my next column. Now my next column, I don't have this top number like I had this top number over here. So what I need to do is I need to pay attention to what I got going on over here. This plus this is supposed to give me 4x to the third. So what plus 0x to the third is going to give me 4x to the third? Well, 4x to the third. So now I'm going to find this number, and then I'll be able to find the rest of these numbers. So... Let's see here, x squared times what will give me 4x to the third? 4, and then x to the 1 power. So this times this will give me this. All right, cool. Now that I have this top term, I can find the rest of the terms in this column. So 4x times 0 is just 0, and then we have x squared, because x times x, x squared. 4x times 1, that's going to be 4x. All right, cool. Now I'm going to go back up to this one. In order to find the number, the term inside that, that square, I'm going to look at this term, which is 3x squared, and I'm going to think x squared plus 0x squared plus what gives me 3x squared? 1 plus 2x squared. That would give me the 3x squared. So now I have this top term. Now I can find this term that goes on the very top. So now I go, what times x squared gives me 2x to the third? So here we're asking ourselves, what times x to the second power will give me 2x to the second power? And the answer here is 2. And then we fill out the rest of them. 2 times 0x will be 0x. And then 2 times 1 is 2. Cool.
because I already have a 2 there. That's kind of like your checkpoint. If that doesn't match that, then that means we're going to have a remainder, but you don't have to do remainders in this lesson yet. I'll teach you guys that later. Now we write down our final answer. Well, our final answer, our, our answer to the division problem. We write x squared, 4x, and then 2. Over here, what you're doing is just re you're rewriting the division problem to be multiplication. So it's kind of like if you had a division problem that said 15 divided by 3, and you said that equals 5, the 5 is like this right here. To change this into multiplication, you would say 3 times 5 equals 15. So um, here we would put x squared 4x plus 2. But don't miss the point here. Yeah, you're just copying this. It's over there. But don't miss the point here. If you go this polynomial divided by the bottom polynomial, you get this. Just like, you know, 15 divided by 3, you get 5. You can rewrite this into a multiplication problem just like we can rewrite this into a multiplication problem. All right, that's how you do reverse tabular method or dividing using reverse tabular method.